welcome back to What Ja Cooking. This episode, it's all about us. Why? Because it's Father's Day. This episode, now, of course, we are celebrating with all the daddies in the world. I'm a dad. I think the coming guests, I don't know whether they're dads, but we'll ask about them later. And of course, if you're joining us on this platform, remember once again to like and share because this is going to be a great way to share all your loving messages to all the daddies out there. All right. So remember uh, to join us at this episode because we have someone really, really familiar uh, to join us and he is a uh, founder, he's a businessman, he's an owner, and of course, he's the one who has designed what I'm wearing right now. I'd like to take a chance to introduce you to uh, Nick Cho, uh, the owner of Flash M and content creator of NOC. Yo, what's up, bro? What's up, brother? We're just gonna have to do this thing. Is it my time? I call you Nick Cho, but I call you Nicholas Cho. Sure, la, sure, sure. And because we have been uh, buddies for quite some time, so I like to go casual with the gentleman. Of yeah, the I, I actually don't really know him, but he, he said he's a good friend, so yeah, that's why I'm here. Don't like that on the camera, but <laughs> so I say good friend. Yeah, yeah good friend, good friend. Close, no, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's been a while since I met you. Yes, I yes, think, yes. I think the last time we met was about a couple of months back. Yes, uh, on, yes. On a launch party. Yes, yes. And of course, it's been a while. Uh, we do chat online, and at this time around, I'm bringing you back in. Why? Yes. Because I know that you're a dad too. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, I'm a proud dad of a four-year-old daughter. Wow. Yes. So, uh, four years as a dad, business owner. Uh, now you're also a content creator with NOC. Yes. Just a little bit about your your business and your work life, especially during this period, during the, the circuit breaker and then the post-circuit breaker. Yeah. So, during circuit breaker, it's kind of tough because... Uh, businesses cannot open, mm. right? And we have to rely on uh, online platforms mm. uh, to create a kind of sales. But we haven't stopped uh, producing, we haven't stopped designing. So we are always uh, trying to create new ways Correct. to, to, to uh, attract and retain the interest of our, our customers. Uh, so we did quite a bit of mask during this period of time. Oh yes, you, you yes. actually, you know, uh, have a chance to go onto his Instagram mm -hmm. or you know follow Nicholas on his online platforms. You will see that he has different ways of creating we, and yeah. recycling items. All right, I think you're the only one in Singapore for me doing that at this point. Uh? Uh, maybe not only one lah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, at least yeah. to me, at I'm least, watching yeah. you are the yes, only yes, one. Yes, yes, right? yes, yes. <laughs> and yeah. you know that we are creative people when you just went to the barber and have the same haircut. Uh, yeah, no. your, your one nicer lah. No lah, your, your one nicer. nicer, la. mm. your but, one nicer. Uh, oh, besides that, you know, with the whole entire online platform for your business, when it comes to content creation, has there been any changes to what, what there is in terms of the trend, the demand? Uh, in terms of uh, content creation, I think what is different is that right now you can't really go to the talents themselves. Oh yeah, it's true. To actually tell them, because I still feel that Face to face is always the best. True. I mean, I cannot be doing Zoom with you. And to then Kuma, we try to hear, right? It's like very hard. Then we cannot do the, you know. Yeah, all and the then things. now we talk so far. Away. Yeah, correct. <laughs> so I think I think well, there's a difference. Uh, it's also a challenge because it forces us to um, come up with creative solutions. Family wise, yeah. yeah. How has it been like with uh, your kid at home uh, with the circuit? Because no school, right? No yes. Child care, no nothing. Yes, yes, yes. How, how is it like? Uh, well, there's someone uh, at home to help, lah. Oh, so yeah, the person is uh, called the wife. Oh. So yeah, so, that, <laughs> yeah, so that, that, that helps a lot. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, I can't say that I'm really hands-on. Yes. But because of the circuit breaker, right? Yeah, but, but it's Father's yeah. Day, la, so we correct, should take correct. a for yeah, so, this yeah. effort, right? So, so I think it's a good time because uh, my daughter is always very close to my wife. Yes. So she always wants her. I'm brand number three. It's always like first, that. first is Sorry. my wife, second is my mother-in-law. Because I got four daughters, so, I'm ranked all the way to the back, never come home. Right? <laughs> I mean, I, I can tell. Yeah, but it's, it's true because, <laughs> yeah. you know, when it comes to Father's Day, what we really want to share the focus on is that sometimes we are not always within the family. We yes. are very hands-on on the outside portion yes, of, yes, of yes. our work life yes. or, we, or coordination. We, we right? bring the bread home. La, so all right, but yeah. factually speaking, of course, with the circuit breaker, daddies have also learned that it's important to be hands-on. And we have yes. also learned the importance of spending more time with yes, family yes, yes. besides work only. La. Correct, correct. So, so I'm really actually quite uh, 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 thankful mm. that I have... I mean, at the end of the day, it actually brings the whole family closer uh, in, in this sense, not just with my daughter. So yeah. today, we have the third musketeer is coming on. Now, he's a gentleman who's been on board with me on many episodes and today, it's also very meaningful to have him because he's a father of two. 
One times two is two, but I got four lah. And right now, I'd like to take the chance to introduce you right back in action once again. Our lead dietitian from the Singapore Sport Institute. This is Dr. Rico Swimbon. I'm going to step outside and uh, grab some stuff. So I'll see you guys in a while. Come on in, come on in, bro. Hey, you getting it? Hey, good. <laughs> you all right? You do that. Okay. Yeah, you would do that? <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. Good, good, good. You had a big catch up with Ben? Yes, I did. He tell big stories? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, um, when you think about men, right? Uh, and the food that they enjoy, men like fat, men like flavour, don't they? Yes, yes, yeah. they like the strong taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah bit yeah. of meat, bit of protein. So today we're wrapping that all up together. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to top it off with a little bit of pastry. Not too okay. much. Pastry, I pastry, like pastry pretty yeah. yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Most men like pastry, right? Yes, 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 and it is Father's Day. Yeah, and we should spoil the dads a little bit, I think. Of course. So, um, so today, a really nice, easy uh, chicken, cho uh, chicken um, pot pie. Um, with a little bit of pastry on the top, uh, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of cream, chicken, a little bit of thyme to make it a little atas. Right? To be atas, Sound yeah. Good? Okay, good, yeah. good, good. Sounds Do you like good. to yeah. cook? I would like to think that I like to cook, so yeah. I think I'll love it after this. Nice. Yeah. All right. Mate, let's wash our hands. We'll clean our hands and then we'll get into it. Okay, Yeah. Great. Well, we can just clean our hands in the sink there. So Nick, let's turn a bit of heat on the pan, um, the top dial there. This one? Yeah, if you turn it around about three quarters of the way for me. Three quarter. There we are, and you just okay. uh, splash a little bit of olive oil in there for me. Just a drizzle if you like. Yeah. Oh, I like that, nice. Oh, you even give a little swirl, that's yeah. good. All right, um, I got some really cute little Japanese mushrooms here, look at this. Are those inuki? Um, no. no. It's got a different name on the packet. Okay. I can't pronounce it. Okay. Uh, but they're very cute. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and look, there's no dirt, so don't need cleaning. So all I want you to do is just sort of tear that apart and crumble it into the pan. So tear them like... Yeah, they'll just all kind of come off the base. That's it. Yeah, get them in there. And I've got some white ones too to create a little bit of contrast. Okay. All right, good stuff. Um, now, how, how are your knife skills, Nick? Uh, zero to, to ten. Okay. Uh, zero. Okay. We start with a simple onion. Okay. All right. The onions make you cry? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't tried. Okay. Yeah. We'll find out. Right. Yeah. Um, actually, when it comes to an onion, all the acid is in the base. Okay. So if you cut that bit off last, then you likely you mm, won't cry not, over yeah. the onion. Okay. Yeah. The easiest way to cut an onion and not cry is just to give it to somebody else to cut. <laughs> so I'll give them both to you. That's and, a great. That's a great tip. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great tip. I'll show you. So all I do um, is uh, actually I just I just cut it about there, get rid of the acid bit. Okay. Right. That's it. And then I just um, cut it down the middle. Yep. That's good. Now what you can do is actually put a whole bunch of um, cuts through the onion without going all the way through. Just keep your, your ends of your fingers back there, right? And now I can, I mean, I can actually pick the onion up, it's not all going to fall apart, right? Um, but then I can just turn it around and then just cut through and it kind of just dices itself up really nice. Nice. So let's just chop these onions up and we can add those to the pan. I can hear the pan sizzling now. Yep. And then we'll get you on the pan handle and just turning those veggies around. Good job. All right, onions in. Mushrooms in. Mushrooms are toasting. A little bit of... Do I do that? Yeah. C you, can you give it a little flick? All, all the guests have to give it a little bit of a flick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. A flick, Nick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good job. All right. Nick, have a smell of that. Okay. Time. Just beautiful. Um, it's good. I smelled it in, uh, in some breads before. Is that right? Yeah. It's so good with, uh, with savoury chicken. Bit of cream. Yeah. Nick, I don't want to waste your rustic onions. Okay. And your mushrooms. My streetwear onions. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so I want you to get that thyme and just kind of... Um, Carry it apart. Yeah, you can just kind of strip it down and just drop it into the pan for us. Yeah. We'll go a few sprigs, I think. Some of it's a little bit woody. We'll get the nice fine bits. I just tidy up along the way. Um, I was telling the folks at home uh, a few weeks ago, Nick, that um, I, was, I was always taught a tidy kitchen is a tasty kitchen. Um, so we just keep it nice and tidy. Okay. Okay. Nice. Right, you want to give it another little shake there, Nick? Okay. Good. And you can give it a little stir with a wooden spoon too, if you like. That would be good. That helps you. Yeah, that keep helps. Keep it in the pan, Nick. <laughs> yes. Good job. The next thing we're going to do is just prepare our chicken. So this is really quick. All right, while you're doing that, Nick, I'm just going to get the oven on preset. We're going to go to 220. Because pastry likes a bit of heat. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I've just got some, um, some chicken tenders here. Now, the great thing about this is that, you know, it's, it's already pretty cut down. Okay. So we're just going to um, cut that. Uh, and Nick, I'll just get you to pop those into the pan for me. Okay, so this. Yep. And if we just keep turning them around, because we just want to seal the, the chicken. So we want the chicken on the bottom of the pan. So we've, okay. um, with the spoon, you can just try and work, work the vegetables to the side, get the chicken on the heat. And we just want to seal all the different sides of the chicken. And then we finish it in the oven awesome. with the pastry on the top. Yeah, I like working with the chicken tenders because they're, they're just a little easier to work with rather than a big chicken breast. It just yeah. works nicely for this sort easier of dish. Easier to cut too, right? Yeah. All right, so just try and work that chicken down to the bottom of the pan where all the heat is. Nick, I'm just going to wash my hands. Yeah, you're looking good. So you can try and turn those over now, Nick. And um, you can even use the knife if it's easier for you. Turn them over like yeah, this? Yeah, just, yep, that's okay. it. And then we'll just... Uh, seal the bottom of each piece. Can okay. you see how, yeah, there we are. Can you see how the pan's starting to seal the bottom now? Yes, yes. Yeah. So once both sides are sealed, um, we're going to add a little bit of our sauce to that. Okay. That'll be really good. So is this dish uh, suitable for, for like kids, like my daughter is four this year? Oh yeah, she'll really she'll like, like it. like it? Yeah. yeah. Um, whilst we're going to put some mustard into this, Okay. It's really toned down with the cream and we add a little bit of water too. And of course the chicken flavour comes out and creates a little bit of a stock. So it doesn't taste too mustardy actually. Oh. There's, there's not too much heat. We're going to use a little bit of Dijon mustard. That's great. I, I love Dijon mustard. Yeah. yeah. So that might be a different flavour for a child. Okay. Um, but but it, would it be a little bit too out. spicy? No, no it's not. There's no it's heat not. in it actually. Okay. No, it's not a hot dish at all. Okay. It's nicely flavoured. It's looking really good. Um, so what does your daughter like to eat at home, Nick? She totally loves mac and cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. mine too. Yeah, mac That's and the cheese. That's favourite, isn't it? And uh, yeah, I think she likes her pastas as well. Yeah, pasta's a good one. That's looking really good now, Nick. Am I, am I, am I, like am that, am eh? I doing, doing it right? Yeah, should we put some sauce in there now? Sure. Okay, so um, here's our Dijon mustard. Do you smell it? Like, it's got a little bit of a smell, but um, we're really going to tone that down. Okay. Yeah, so if you just put two heat teaspoons into that dish for me. Nice. All right. Okay. Now we're going to add some cream. Around about 60 mil. 60 you can eyeball mil. it. Whenever I get Ben to measure something, Right, he just eyeballs it. I know, it's yeah. just like how I take my medicine. There you are. Yeah. Same, same approach. Okay. Yeah. So we freestyle it. Sixty. Good. A little bit more maybe. Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to pop a little bit of water in there too. Around about 100 mil. Beautiful. I like how you're doing that, Nick. Yeah. Nice. So that's a lot, uh, there there's go. not a lot of carbohydrates in there. Actually, at the moment, it's, um, it's carbohydrate-free. Right? Yeah. And until you add the pastry. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So I am, I'm, well, not many people know, but I'm diabetic. 
Okay. Yeah, so this would be good to go. Yeah. Right. That would not disturb your blood sugar levels yeah. at all, actually. For me, yeah. Yeah. And pastry, whilst pastry um, is made from flour, um, actually by the time you get the dish on your plate, you're not really having a whole it's lot not of pastry a, yeah. either. So it's, it's not so some processed. really good flavours for our dads out there okay. um, without kind of going overboard on anything too much. We'll add a little bit of salt. You just um, grind Pinch. a little bit of oh, salt okay. into that for me, a pinch of salt. And I'm going to get our pastry out of the freezer. Okay. Yeah, so this is just puff pastry, Nick. So okay. basically flour made with butter. Um, it's been pre-rolled for us. Okay. So you can get it in the freezers um, at the supermarkets and cold storage, and you okay. can also get it as a block. But you have to roll it out with a roll. So are, are, are these the same ones that you put over like uh, soups in restaurants and then they put exactly. in the oven, yeah? Yeah, the, the yeah, 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 okay. exactly the same. So they probably, they probably even make theirs, um, the French restaurants will probably make theirs from scratch. Okay. Um, but I like using this because it's already been rolled for us. All we got to do is just take the plastic off and just basically lay it over the pie. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can do all sorts of things with this, Nick. Like actually you could get some spinach um, a little bit like making like a tortilla, like a wrap. Uh, uh, uh. You could put spinach in there, you could put some feta cheese in there, put some ham in there. Just do your like... Some mozzarella, you like, cheese, yeah. right? Kids ham, love this. Ham as well. Yeah, and then you just roll it up, crink the ends, put that in the oven, and you've got an instant Just dish. do it here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to do it like that. We're going to put it in a, in a baking dish. So I'm going to put this in the freezer. All right, our oven's up to heat, so that's good. I think we'll just bake it in this dish here, Nick. Okay. Yeah, so when you're ready, um, it, you can yeah. just uh, transfer from the pan into the baking dish. And it goes nice and carefully. So that sauce is really thickened up now. Yep. That's really good. And of course, when it blasts in the oven, it's going to really intensify all the flavors and get it all moving through. It's going to thicken up the sauce a little bit more in the oven too. Okay, we're going to get... If you pass me that, Nick, and I'll just... Um, Help you out here. So we're going to see. So you can see. Look at how soft that's gotten already. Yes, yes. It's only been out of the freezer for a couple of minutes. Right. So usually I just give it a bit of a measure up. That's not too bad. Do you stretch it. Uh, yeah. Um, it won't stretch too much. But usually what oh. I do is just trim the edges a little. Make it fit. Yeah. And then I've got a little bit extra to play with. Right. So that is actually not too bad. Mm -hmm. And you can get a wooden spoon actually and you can just tuck, it, in. tuck it into bed a little bit. It looks good. Right? Not bad, huh? Yeah. And then of course... I did that. You did? I mean, I, I just did it. Yeah. You sure did. How yeah. easy, eh? Yeah? yeah. The other thing about cooking, and particularly for men, is that they don't like to spend ages in the kitchen. I mean, how, how quickly was that? Yeah, it was quick. It was like 10 minutes, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, the last thing, Nick, and I'm going to get you to enjoy this step, is um, take your knife and just very gently, we're just going to crisscross across the pastry. Okay. Just, just very lightly. So what, a big crisscross or a little So almost like diagonal checkers. Oh, uh, okay. Like yeah. That? Oh, so you could run a line like this. Uh-uh. Very lightly. Yeah, it doesn't need to punch all the way through. Uh-huh. Because as the just pastry to... cooks, yeah. And then and if you go... Opposite angle now. It's kind yeah, of like hot cross buns. Right. Exactly right. the same. Yeah. Right. Really good. And the last thing is just brush a little bit of olive oil over the top. Ah, that's what you're yeah, looking so, for. Just now. So we can um, actually you could just use that dish. That will be fine. Pour a little oil on there. And artist with the brush. There you go. Okay. And just brush that on the top. I think nice. I so you can be more. quite liberal with it. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. This is a great little step. Children yeah. love paintbrushes, right? So yeah. to get your daughter to finish off this, yeah, she'll, she'll love feel it. like she's just done the icing on she's, the cake there. She's like a chef now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now we can put that in the oven, Nick. Come okay. on, let me help you. All right. Anyway, you just pop that in there. The top just one? Just carefully. Yeah, that'll be fine. Beautiful. That's good. All right. Okay, Nick. So that's only going to take about 15 minutes in the oven. Oh, that's quick. It's really high in there, temperature 220 mm. degrees. Yeah, so we're just finishing it off, really letting it um, puff pastry, puff awesome. up, I bake can't, off. I can't wait. It's yeah. going to be really, really good. Yes. Yeah. So, folks, please do join us after the break. Uh, Nick, 
Ben and I are going to serve up. Really enjoy this chicken pot pie. Folks, welcome back to What You're Cooking! cooking. <laughs> Alright, nice. So, uh, yeah, but, um, me, and, me and Nick are trying out for, for Ben's job. Wait, 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 wait. I smell something nice. Alright, and I just... Of I, course. I just went to order the cake welcome. for Father's Day for myself. Oh, so welcome sad. Back. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, we are busy, man. I'm scared they forget. We better order first. Later, the family forget. Then my, I, I order for you. Okay, then I order for uh, you. Yeah. Okay, then the cake I send over to you. Yeah, better. <laughs> I, 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 I smelled something. Yeah. What did y'all prepare for the first recipe? What did you prepare, Nick? I prepared the very nice things. <laughs> That's I all I can tell you. <laughs> What's the name of the dish? You remember? It's a chicken pork. Pie. Chicken pot pie. Yeah. Chicken oh. pot pie. Chicken pot pie. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have, okay, usually when I see chicken pot pie, it's this size. Lah. Yeah. yeah. You just made the perfect size this, for this is This is for your, your size. Go already. Bro. It's <laughs> up size. Yeah. Bro. It is okay. Father's Day. No, I'm looking at the, to at the top portion of it. Yeah. Uh, so you made dough? Pastry. Yeah, pastry. Pastry, pastry, bro. Yeah, pastry is pastry. dough, not Same dough. Same the dough big really become pastry. No, pastry is pong. You said no pong. Oh, big pong. You know why it's pong? And uh, fra fa. Yeah. Uh, no, you learn one thing. Your uh, rice. Pong. Like, rice. Like our hair, like that. Pong. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I only know Lao Hong. Lao Hong. <laughs> Same. This one don't eat. So, 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 Lao Hong. So, so, how did y'all create the dough just now? Was it like. Oh, oh Nicholas man. smashed yeah. it out, man. Really? It was tough, man. We, I had to like roll. You see my sweat? Yeah. Really, man? Yeah. I thought you did what? Uh. No, we go with stitch when it comes to onion, you just pass it on to someone else. <laughs> oh, the, the onion, the onion part, 
he, he did the same thing to me for the rolling of the dough. Really? Uh? Yeah. Okay, uh, that, I mean, this is going to be something that is yeah. coming up. Uh, two parts of the show that we really like. Number one, you get to eat together with us. Yeah. All right. That's to great. try out the dish that we just prepared to know whether we close recipe works. <laughs> We see. I mean, second part, we're gonna dive into the mystery challenge. So we go. Let's let's yeah. try the chicken pot pie. Nicholas, Come. our guest, serve us up, my friend. Uh, usually we yeah. serve the guests up, but because you boss my answer today, we okay. Yeah. Boss up, Nicholas right. was okay. the boss on this dish. Uh, I mean, if so we let wow. me serve, so I'll can serve you hear myself. it? The crunch really looks quite Western yeah. standard. And it looks bro. quite quite can. What a solid banana, banana. Ooh, I get this for you. Oh, it really smells very nice, yeah. bro. It's what? such a homely yeah. smell, isn't it? Yeah, add cheese inside, by any no chance? Cheese. No but cheese. But can we do that? I can you imagine him scooping and then when he meets up, you get that cheesy yeah. stretch. Also. Thanks so much, yeah. Nick. You could, actually. You could. I mean, it's when you're cooking, it's your recipe, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I very rarely follow a recipe verbatim, but... I would put cheese and ham. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can... Like you can baby, um, right? I've made this um, with different meats as well. And yeah. you know, look at this man. Nice. Wow. Oh, bon appetit, bro. Smells good, doesn't it? Let's let's try the camera and say happy Father's Day, man. Oh, yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. This is like the fathers cooking for themselves. Oh, man. isn't it good? Yeah, yeah it looks good. Whoa. Okay. Oh, so homely, so comforting, isn't it? So celebratory. I just want a dog. I just want to. Oh eat. my. I think the mushrooms and the chicken combo is good. I think for your first try, bro, I give it a nine point five, man. Wow, wow, that's very high, bro. Wow, this one, my this is gonna be one of my favorite dishes. Good, isn't show. it? Really, really. Yeah, cool. so you can play around with that. Please, audience, once again, if you have any questions about what you can add in, remember to comment below, like and share. Try this at home. Send your pictures to us because this is one dish that's really worth trying at home. Yeah. Really. Mm. I mean, if I can do it, mm. you could actually do sure like a berry apple crumble, like a berry apple fruit mix under there. And make a dessert version as well. Ah. Your daughter would love that. Ah. This is the wow. first time Rico is not stopping us from eating. The no, I, I just kitchen. thought this might be the first dish that you actually finish. Mm. But mm. cannot, because we have a um, we have a challenge. But give me false hope. Like, you <laughs> say this might be the first day we can finish, then you <laughs> cannot. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, let me have one more bite. <laughs> Nick starts shoveling it in now. <laughs> Cock this you. Uh. No, it's really very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what would be awesome after this? A real easy, mm. celebratory little dessert, right? And uh, I'm gonna go. what are you going to cook? Well, what are you gonna have? I'm not going to cook anything, but I'm going to stand back and watch you guys make some flames because today we're doing a flambe. A flambe? Yeah, a rum and raisin flambe so you've got with the fire a little bit of vanilla ice cream. Oh. Yeah. So we get to make fire. Wow. wow. Mike, we got a fire extinguisher? All right. Yeah, I mean, you said we're all right. I think uh, you have insurance. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I also have. So remember, you must always make sure that you're well covered. Huh? Yeah, always very jalat. So you tell me now, ah, where's, your, where's the yeah. recipe? I brought a really jalat one this time. Oh, yeah. Wow, jalat. Yeah. I brought you a present. Wow. Yeah. Because wow. It's, Upgrade. Are you giving this to me? Because it's Father's Day, right? Oh, oh the recipe for me, yeah. not this one for me. Yeah. There you go. I think My just goodness. Can can show you only. That's all for yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Today, you always give us four yeah. no. There you are. I thought this this device was gonna be for me. There you go. <laughs> He's <laughs> avoiding. <laughs> 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 no, I like his. Oh yeah. What? I can't hear anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what's the dish? Yeah. Today? Let's go. It's oh, yeah. Oh. So there we are. Rum and raisin flambe. flambe. Very easy. Raisin. Some sultanas, some raisins in a pan. A little bit of water. Um, just to plump them up and soften them. Wait. Right? I have a question. Yes. Are we preparing here and here? Can. I think need to shift, no? Huh? Because I cannot see the words. Uh. It's okay. <laughs> That's the advantage no, to you me. Move, move. Rico, you will stand behind. <laughs> Social distancing, man. We move down the line. All right. So, Nick, you'll be here. I'll be here so you can see. Rico, you okay. will guide us Very from good. the place because we still practice uh, safe so, distancing. Safe distancing. Safe distancing. Okay. All right. Okay, now you're going to count down mm. and start preparing. So, again, I see. we just grab whatever and follow instruction. That's all. Uh. Okay. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's Up go, you go. Okay, man. Okay, you, you okay, man means you know what to do, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Okay. Four <laughs> scoops of vanilla ice cream. Um, four scoops of ice cream. We've got a small tub somewhere. There we are. Next. 60 sultana. Next 60 found it. gram sultana. Wow. No wing. Skills. So, really easy one. Eyeball, little little palm full wow. of sultanas. So this one beside, four I don't want my scoops. basin to turn out water. Four scoops. Okay. Four scoops. Uh, based on estimate. Okay. 
taste is more salty. He doesn't want to mix in a splash of water in a pan on a medium heat. Let them cook for a couple of minutes. Okay, is this cooking? Is it hot? There you are. On the fire. Yeah, I think we use that one and that one. Okay, I will use this one. Yeah. Sultana. Yeah. So a little handful of sultanas, a little Sultana. handful of raisins. Doesn't need to be precise. Splash of water and raisin. Ah, I'm very competitive when it comes to this. Splash of water. Don't worry, I'm very, yeah. I'm very chilled. Now because it's rum and raisins, I will get a nice little cup. It looks almost like a martini cup, but no, mm -hmm. without the handle. So a splash of water is okay. ready. Okay. Ready? A little more. All right, now I'm going to put the uh, raisins. I'm going to yeah. give you some water, bro, in case you need it. Thank you. Raisins yeah. healthy and competition. Uh, looking at how you're preparing, I think today I'm quite confident, bro. <laughs> really? <laughs> you are good in your business. I'm starting to get better at cooking. Uh, 60 grams. Yeah, a so little handful. A little handful water. is okay. Oh, this is probably... Yeah. Okay. And put it in the water. This is the one. Here you go, This next. is mine, right? Yeah. Okay. Somewhere there. All right. And then a little bit of... Skin in a plastic bag. What's this? A uh, golden sultana. Oh, golden sultana. So they're a bit bigger, a bit fatter. Yes, you can see the difference. Yeah. Huh? The earlier ones are smaller. This one. They soak up the flavour. Mm. Really good. They actually think. soak up the rum. Really somewhere. nice. So this is... This skin in a plastic bag. Because I like it more. Let me just show yeah. it a bit more. Yeah. So get them all in the water. So uh, simmers, right? Yeah, you wanna. You could even add a little more water nah, if I you want. Water is not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Pop a little bit more in there. You want them to have a bit of a bath. So you're really using the water to just uh, let the softened. flavor set in and it, soften it, right? It softens it. Yeah. Oh, smells really nice, eh? Hey Nick, nice, nice amount of water there. Yeah, how come your water so nice? My one like very off key. Nick's got a slightly slower um, because mine element. is. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. turn his up. It's a winning pen. Maybe we turn yours down a little bit. Otherwise, your water will evaporate pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put them in the water bath. Nick's on the next step now. Okay. This is the bit where you get to show the muscles off. Put the biscuits inside the rolling pin. Eh. Uh, yeah, the rolling pin there. Yeah, but where is the... Uh, clean tea towels, smash them into crumbs and we'll divide them into four bowls. Add a scoop of ice cream each bowl. Oh, it got four, four bowls. Yeah. Eh. All right, so left. four scoops of ice cream. Okay, let me this one, If you open the tea towel up, I'm going to bring the ice That's cream it. over. Yep. Okay. And then you can put two biscuits in the middle. Oh, I know what you're trying to do here already. That's so it. The biscuit is going to be the setting for the base. Correct. And then the ice cream on top. Yeah. And then you get the flame effect over the ice cream. You got it. Okay. Smash the crumbs. Yeah. It's three, finally. Ah, I know. We're vibing, man. Hey, okay. so you can even whack it. Uh, you can whack it. Whack yeah. it yeah. You can heat it down. Yeah. Wow, this give is it a bit of, Give it a bit of that one. Oh, one of my favourite favorite cookies. Oh, no. lay, lay into it, Nick. That's the story. Oh, so these are ginger, ginger nut cookies. Yeah. So you get a nice gingerly flavour. Ginger nuts work really well with this. Um, the ginger and the rum go together really well. But they're a little bit hard to find. It's like cookies and cream. In Singapore. You can use shortbread as right. well. Yeah, oh, so it's a ginger nut flavour. Yeah, it's a bit of an Angmo biscuit. Um, you can find it in uh, Marks and Spencer's. Ah, yeah. but it's a bit hot, huh? It is. Oh, a, it's it's a bit we hard. call it a dunker. It's designed to be dunked into oh, a cup of tea. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a bit hot. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's a bit. Oh, dip it. Oh, oh, your flavour. It's nice. It's, it's like quite a gingery. It's got yeah, a bit of heat wipes. in it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Can, I, this is, can I use this towel? Can. Do you know? Yeah. I just want to make sure it's not something that we used to wipe all the items. You can get aggressive with it, Nick. Yeah, give it a good smack. Ben, I'm just going to save your raisins. Oh, yeah, because it's getting yeah. evaporated, right? Thanks, Sam. Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, he really has a nice amount of water. He's done very really well nicely, there. Right? Oh. Yeah. Is this good enough? Um, look at the difference between him smashing with the... Yeah, of course that's good. Yeah, oh, beautiful, Nick. Yeah, nice You powder, sure right? you never go... Keep... Yeah. No, no, no. Now, it's Nick, too... what you can do is just... Uh, you can... Sprinkle that on your ice cream, or you can put it under your ice cream. It's your choice. Oh, you can let, you can let your let your four daughters do it at the same time. Whoa. Wow. Jalan. Jalan. <laughs> Is it powdery now? I think so. I like it a little bit chunky. Turn it to dust. Oh yeah. Oh my god. It might become a paste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cause the towel is dead. <laughs> You better get, <laughs> scrape that off, pop it in your bowl, it'll be fine. Yeah, that's okay. Nice one. Okay. Now, Nick, are you up to the the flame time? 
Uh, let me see. I think that's your next one. Ah. Oh, I'm going to have to oh, you have turn to. that on for you. Excuse me. Okay. I mean, we're always looking forward to the flame time. Yeah. Okay, you go so for your flame time this. and decorate my ice cream first. When the water is evaporated, okay. you need to pour this rum in. Rum over oh, the southern and, and carefully set, to set it. I'm gonna turn fire. your heat okay. up. Okay, good. you go. No when right. your item. Right. Um, well, this is legit from uh, Bangkok. Did you just come back? It's from legit. Yeah. It's b uh, barrel aged. Wow. Yeah. Cherry cask. It's been in the cupboard for a couple of years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can just use that. That'll okay. be fine. Just. Yeah. Okay. So just just, just put in however much you feel like. Okay. How it long is have you had this day. rum for, bro? Uh, at least a couple of years. Really? But the alcohol, um, it doesn't go off. That's okay. okay. So rum can be kept for a really long time, right? Yeah. So this is good? Yep. This is good? My mum used to have a brandy bottle about 10 years. Really? Yeah. Wow. All right. Wow. Now get that... Um, I love that seasoning effect. If you get that... Uh, fire starter. Fire starter. Uh, yeah. Uh, Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more in there okay. for you. You're more younger, so you put more. <laughs> All right. Okay. You flame it up, Nick. Okay. Off we go. Don't be scared. It's fine. Ooh, wow! Yeah. I've yeah. always wanted to do that. Yeah, hand on the handle, the Nick. Give it a so bit of that one. Yeah. Wow! I want to try mine, oh, man. Nice. Good. I'm gonna make it big. Can I just do it again? To you can. If there's a, the, all the alcohol might have been burnt off. Oh, yeah. So what you're left with now is no alcohol, but all the rum flavour, oh. right? So, so does it mean that if I eat it like that, I don't get that tipsy effect? And you get it on your ice cream, and it'll be amazing. Let all that juice get into your ice cream and your biscuits. Okay. Yeah. So Ooh, I'm, I'm ready to put yep. there already? Yep. Okay, good. That's but it. You're ready to go. Oh, wow. Rick, I'm asking you if, if, yeah. if I actually am burning the alcohol off. So if I eat this, I don't get that tipsy after effect anymore. Yeah, you're burning most of the alcohol off. So here. you were saying like, like this much? Yeah. So it's just like... Yeah. I'm going to finish all his... Flame it up. Things. Getting the essence Flame of the rum. Then. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big fire, man. That was a huge fire. That was, that was a big fireball. It was a big fireball, man. Mike, yeah. did you get that on camera, Mike? Oh my god, oh. that looks so good, bro. <laughs> I that, got a shot. So clearly, you have to stand back. Yes. And if your children are there, make sure they stand back. So whenever back. you're doing this dish, uh, uh, for this part, don't let the children try it. It uh, doesn't really burn you because it's a boom, right? Yeah, yeah. But you don't flesh. put your face over like, no, because your brows, your eyelashes. Correct. I think my daughter will love it. Yeah, you will, they would like to watch yeah, you. It's like a bit of spectacular, right? Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. Oh my gosh, and, and when, once the fire comes on, look at this. Yeah. The sizzling, the bubbling, smells so good. You got the rum flavours now into yeah. the ice cream. Wow. Drizzle this over. Let me just use my spoon. Okay, my presentation is a bit off though. But oh, it's all in the taste, this one. Yeah. It's a bit of a messy recipe. Ah, I yeah. still bother to go and plate it up oh, nicely this time around. Oh, we weren't yeah. judging on plating this time though. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> For the first time, I put in so much effort in my plating. Eh. Yeah, mine looks very streetwear. It's good. Yours matches your jeans. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's very you lah. Look, see mine. I plate it. Mine looks like it's half eaten. That's the difference. <laughs> I I bought that this time. Ah. It looks nice. See? Yeah. I'm going to set it out for the camera. Oh. Okay. Let me. Ah. I can't wait for you guys to taste that. Happy Father's Day. I'm going to share my ice cream with oh, you. Oh, that's very nice. So I think I got a small little bowl here. Oh, lovely. Because you say Happy Father's Day, ma. Yeah. And your father correct, of correct. how many kids? Two. Two, two. daughters. Oh, 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 two daughters. Hey, I got four daughters. Yeah. You got two daughters. Yeah. You got, got one, one daughter. daughter. That makes like a half a football team yeah. of daughters, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay, now. You I know, know what they say state? about guys having daughters, right? What? The fathers are usually handsome people. I'm not sure what happened to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I heard they're sporty as well. Nice, I run nice, huh? Come on. Yeah. Ta-da! All oh, right. Lovely. Our mini Father's Day celebration. celebration. Cheers, 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 man. Cheers, bro. Voila. All right, I'm going to stand right. for the back. The crumbs looks really good. Um, it's good exercise, actually, for the little ones because it's really quite hard to pound it down. I can yeah, smell they can the have rum. fun with that. Mm. The raisins, the sultanas looks great. Oh, amazing. It's oh. good. Huh? Mm. Yeah, good. The it's raisins good. are just a bomb, don't they? Wow! This is mm. like flavorful. Yeah. And with the ginger nut cookies that you placed in, yeah. it's, it's a bit harder, right? Yes. So it doesn't soften, so you get Correct. crunch. You have mm. that crunch with the taste of rum and raisin yeah. without the alcohol. 
Yeah. There's, there's crunch, there's soft and yeah. squishy, there's so, yeah. like cold Is it cold suitable running. for children also? Because they can have a little bit. Gonna, oh, they can, yeah. and they're not too much. Like. Yeah. Is it like because mm. of the rum, Most right? of the alcohol has been yeah. removed. Okay. And you just left with the flavour. It's really one of my favourite episodes. This is totally Father's Day for wow. me. And, and Nick, for yourself, you know, being a father and a businessman during the CB period, what have you been doing with your children and what are you looking forward to doing with them during Father's Day weekend? Mm. Yeah, so I've been reading her stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she likes to, 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 to have stories uh, mm-hmm. yeah, read to her. And uh, once in a while, I'll go bring her to the pub mm. on a skate scooter. She's getting pretty good. So I think after the whole circuit breaker, I hope to be able to bring her out to skate scoot a little bit more uh, at East Coast. And oh, maybe. T- parts, not those yeah, yeah. Home, right? and, and probably teach her how to ride a bicycle. Mm. Oh, yeah. great. So one. that's the, the next goal. With that, we have box 40. What's the name of this dish again? The rum and raisin? Flambe. 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 Mm. Yeah, flambe. Okay, but before <laughs> you step off the show, bro, thank you once again for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Doctor. Awesome, Great man. fun, but you know, before you step off to the viewers, to the business owners mm. out there, you as a business owner, you know, it's tough times today. Is there anything you want to share with the viewers before we step off to the break? I think uh, it's tough times, but you know, whatever don't kill you will make you stronger. I know it's very politically correct, but it's true. Mm. So find out what you can do with the grants available, uh, what you can do to get support, mm. and then think of ways to change. La. I mean, it's, it's really very cliche, but it's, it's true. You just need to find ways to be more creative and make things work. Fantastic. As long as you, yeah. Really see. stepping out of your comfort mm. zone, yeah. getting the right support, yes. appreciating what is Correct. you know around and available to us Singaporeans. Yeah. And with that, we will be back in a short moment's time with What Your Cooking!
What? Yeah, cooking. Yeah, so they're on. Not bad. K2. Yeah, K2. Yeah, we're going to try for the next uh, competition, bro. Yeah. Okay. But uh, early on, we had Nicholas Cho from Flash Im and NOC who had joined us. And uh, we want to take the chance to show you some of his pictures at work mm. and with his family right over here. Amazing, isn't it? Now, when it comes to business, it's really not easy at this time. Huh? No, it's tough. But even for our local athletes, it's not easy, right? No, it's Especially tough. Especially when it comes to outdoor sports. Yep, it? yep, that's right. So, uh, who do we have? Over, what which athlete do we have on board today? Well, today we have um, some very strong people. Really? Yeah, very balanced. Fantastic. Very smooth. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about kayaking. Kayaking, yeah. and of course, with that, that's why we started off after the break with the kayaking action, right? So I think there's a right motion because you use the arm, the back, and right now we like to take the chance to invite two fantabulous up and coming kayakers of Singapore, our national kayakers on board with us. First up, we have Brendan Uy. Hi, wave to the Hi. camera, Brendan. And also joining us today, we have So Zihing. Hi, Zihing. Hi, Zihing. Hi. Hello. Where are you? I don't see you. Ah, there you are. There you are. <laughs> so, um, very interesting to Hello. have a male and female competitor yes. uh, on board. You know, this is, uh, they, are, they are like a team. Yep. And they're also co-training amazing, isn't it? Yep. So, um, let's start with the ladies first. Okay. Uh, Zihing, tell us a little bit about yourself. How many years you have been in the uh, kayaking arena? and some of the competitions that you've been a part of? Mm, I've actually paddled for about nine years until now. I started in JC actually. Ah. But um, I've only done competitive like national level from 2014. Oh, that's about six that's years. Like, hmm. that's six, right. six years? About yeah. six years. And, uh, and what categories think, like, do you compete generally, in? Mm. What categories do you uh, I usually do the sprint. Ah. Like for females, we only have, uh, for Olympic competitions, we have like K1, 500, and K, I mean, we have 500 and 200, and I mm. usually do more of the 200 meters. Ah, so 200 and 500 are usually the short burst distances. Mm. One kilometer is a slightly longer one. Yeah. Now I'm going to dive over to Brendan. And Brendan, yourself, what kind of categories do you, do you take part in? And also tell us a little bit about your background on, and the number of years you've been in it. Yeah, I started uh, kayaking in 2007. Uh, and I joined the national team in 2009. Uh, that was when I was 15 years old. And uh, oh, over the years, I've taken part mm. in Youth Olympic Games and uh, various World Championships and uh, Asian Games and, and as well as the Sea Games where, where we won in 2015. Um, for me, I'm a little bit more of a diverse guy. So, <laughs> so um, over the years, I've taken part in the 200 meters, the 500 meters, as well as the 1000 meters. And I think naturally, uh, when you're better at all the distances, uh, then the middle one becomes the, the best. Um, in the World Championship so far, I've, I've done the, I have gotten the best ranking in K1 500 meters, wow, um, really? as well as K2 500 mm -hmm. meters, actually. But uh, right now, uh, because the Olympic events keep keep changing now. Right now, I'm focusing on the 200 meters to get my sprint speed up, and hopefully, uh, be able to qualify for 2021. Wow! You know, talking to them brings a lot of nostalgia because I mm. I was a casual kayak uh, kayaker, yeah. but I was a competitive uh, canoeist yeah. in the JC days, just like uh, Zing. I started rowing during the JC days, right? And then hearing from uh, Brandon over here, the range the, the, that they cover really interesting. And then you as a couple, right? Um, do y'all compete together? Um, we are just really curious, you know? Because there's K1, <laughs> K2, and then there's 200, 500, 1000. But as, as a couple, is there any competitions where you both take part together as a team? You want to go? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm lucky actually, that they go. They only you go? Uh, started <laughs> recently. Um, they introduced like this mixed K2 event at the World Cups last year. Oh. And we did actually take part in that. <laughs> wow, so so you both... As uh, a couple. And, and, and as, as a, you know, I assume that's the first time, lah, huh? 
And, yeah, and uh, it's very new. How did y'all fare on it as a couple on the first time basis? Um, we actually raced uh, in the K2, and honestly, the race was not too bad. I think uh, we practiced once before, uh, so we didn't really have any much expectations going into the race. Uh, we just did it honestly for fun. Mm. These guys are always competing in the gym. I think uh, Tsing always tells me she can lift more than Brandon, actually. We, we will uh, see. But right now, we're going to put you to the test and see if both of you can learn something new on the kitchen, uh, the cooking arena. Oh. Kitchen, right? So do, uh, while we are going to dive on in, what is the dish that we're going to prepare for today? Well, um, Father's Day, mm -hmm. and it's quite nice to have breakfast in bed, isn't it? Yeah, or, or yeah. absolutely. We yeah. like to sleep in usually. Like. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, you wake up a little later and uh, you might have some eggs in bed. So we're doing eggs with a little twist today. Uh -huh. uh, look after the heart health too, because men are more predisposed to heart disease than oh, women. Oh, that's very important. It's yeah. true. And in Singapore, it's really quite a high risk factor. Yes. I just saw you throw something inside. These are um, chia seeds. Chia seeds. Yeah, uh, black Brandon chia seeds. And uh, Zing, do you all take chia seeds regularly? And white. Occasionally, with my oats in the morning. <laughs> mm, chia seeds also a really rich source of omega-3 and protein. Mm. So I've just put a little bit of heat on this pan, a moderate heat, and we're just going to toast these like you toast um, almonds or nuts or seeds. So if you just keep an eye on that for me, Ben, and it's just going to go a little crunchy. They won't right. really change colour, but they do go nutty in taste. All right, so it brings right? a bit more flavour. Yeah. At, at home, with the both of you, who is the regular cook? Or both of you are just generally eat out? Or? Your parents were <laughs> curious. Uh, the one that cooks safe cooks first. very well. <laughs> uh, swing cooks very nah. well. At, at least to my taste. Oh wow, that's really uh, nice. Actually, so, now we have a we have a routine. Eh? We order in for lunch and then we cook for dinner. I saw you put some chili. I just t diced up some chili. I just um, changed the angle on the chili to make it a little longer. Yes. Uh, just into some cold water and that'll just keep it fresh. Really. Cut it on an angle. I didn't. I left the seeds in a little more heat for Dad Father's mm. Day. Yeah. And the green ones are? The green ones just spring onion. Spring onion. Yeah. So okay, just so into a little bit of cold water. It just um, keeps it um, nice. Keeps it nice and fresh. Okay. So what we have yeah. just done is we just slice some red chili and yeah. uh, spring onions and put in cold water first so that it doesn't turn color. So it remains fresh. I think this is going to be something that he's going to throw onto the... Yeah, just at, at the, the end. end. Yeah. yeah. With a little bit of salmon. Yeah. Because salmon's a really nice source of omega-3 for dad's heart, right? Yes. A little more protein. So we, we are teaching you a method that's really easy to do, probably about seven steps and you are done for breakfast and you can ask Brendan to cook it for you during next time. <laughs> <laughs> so we added some olive oil because yep. it's one of the best oil in the world. It is, All right, my friend. We have two eggs, huh? Yeah. All right, we're cracking two eggs in. Can you all see the pan? Are you able to see the, the frying pan? Yep, yep, yep. These guys probably eat four or five, I, I would, would say. Do you eat a lot of yeah. eggs, actually? Do you all? Yeah, Both I eat four eggs every morning. Wow, and Zing, yeah. 20. Uh, after 20. <laughs> I have two. Two, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is really nice yeah. because the, the chia seeds almost form a crust under the uh, egg. Oh, yeah, so you get that. Yeah, so when we there. serve it, we'll serve one upside down. Uh, so one sunny side up, one, is, one sunny side down, and then you can get the, the feel of the Fantastic. dish. Fantastic. Uh, how do y'all, how, how has this actually affected your training with gyms at, uh, for yourself? And also, what have y'all done over the last few months to, you know, carry on with your, your physical training to maintain yourself? Um, we s brought back a uh, ergometer, um, so we can actually do some pedaling on the machine. Mm -hmm. um, that is really useful because um, we still need a sort of action and get that uh, aerobic fitness, upper body aerobic fitness uh, and technique training. And Sling, for you, what yeah. do you expect or foresee in the near coming two months or one month when it comes to training? Other than having like proper setups like your squat racks and your bench press and bench pull, I think we started to get really creative. Uh. So for, for gym, it's still not crazy bad. Ah, so I think it's, it's a good thing. Like, and what we are talking in that one, two minutes, mm, right? Mm. The egg is actually done. Yeah, it's cooked very quick. And it, isn't it amazing while you're talking and wow. just caught on the side? I know, they're, and they're still runny uh, and, yolks. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the way we like it. And right? Because good. for people who like sunny side up, we like our yolks to be runny, correct or not, That's right. The, oh, the, when you eat sunny yes. side up, if the egg yolk is overcooked, you get angry. We flip one like, flip one up, flip one down. Okay, one up, one down, oh, so you can see the colour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And there it's we go. At the moment, you can see the chia seeds, white and black at the bottom, so they look a little bit like pepper, actually. Now we're gonna um, do a little something fancy here. All right. 
All right, we're going to... Um, Interesting. You, you know, do you remember when we uh, we did a show with hoisin sauce? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. I love hoisin sauce, Yes, right? it tastes really good. So yeah. hoisin sauce in Chinese is hai xian zhi. So it's like a seafood sauce, but it's actually not really seafood based. Nah. And, and can you hold nice that up for fragrant. me, Ben? Yes, let me yeah. help you with it. So you can really have this nice fragrant. I cut a hole in that bag, did you see? So you can squeeze... Yeah, uh, so we're going to... What do you call that in the pastry shop? A piping bag. A piping bag. Yeah. So if you don't have a piping bag at home, <laughs> just yeah. take a Ziploc bag. And, and you know, kayaki, uh, kayakers, we have a lot of Ziploc bags. Uh, yeah. Because we always put our phone and everything <laughs> inside, you know? And then, and then you can just gently squeeze it. Oh. oh. <laughs> so it's an Asian wow. sauce wow. on a Western style go. cooking format. That looks nice, doesn't right. it? Yes. And then um, I sure think matters. we'll uh, put a little bit of colour on the side. Actually, I always like to sauté the tomatoes a little bit to give it that oh, yeah. light burn flavour. You can do that. Should we do that? This, yeah, is, a, this is a little bit of um, sockeye salmon. So this is from the Netherlands. This salmon actually dines on shrimps oh, and that's crayfish. Oh, red. So it's very pink. Oh, it's yeah. pink. Oh. Well, red. I pink. Pink. I, pink. I, I call, same family. La. I call it pink. Are you happy with that, sir? Mm, yeah, really is nice. That okay? I, right. I, and I always liked it. Uh, Maui, do I call it grilled or pan fried? Pan fried. Yeah, because it brings out the juices in the tomato. Right? Yeah, um, tomato is actually a fruit. Mm. Um, there's not very much sugar in tomatoes though, but it does caramelize really? what is in there. Yeah. Anything you want to ask Rico when it comes to this dish? Wow. Where did you get your salmon from? <laughs> uh, where did I get it from? I got it from cold storage. So guys, we have completed the bed and breakfast dish for today. Anything you want to say to your audience, fans or viewers? <laughs> Thank you for your support, guys. Yeah. <laughs> really. <Thank you. laughs> means a lot to us. Wow. Yeah, thank I you like for watching you this this show. Uh, it's very, I think it's very good uh, that you're learning how to cook things, uh, simple things for your family and. <laughs> cool man. So so what we really are here to tell you is you know thank you for training hard and you know being a part of our national competitive scene. These are easy dishes that you create at home. We look forward to having you uh, cook it. Take a photo, send it to us so that we post it on our program to let people see you both cooking and the dishes that you have prepared. But once again, thank you so much for joining us. Let's say bye to the audience. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye. Take care. A high energy, fun yeah. folks that we have over here. I love those guys. They're cool. Yeah, yeah. They're really cool. And you can yeah. see there's so much interaction between them. So let's dive into the dish. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's, let's do a half and half. Let me get one are. more side. No, no, so no. no. I, want, I want to see you really enjoy this. I've given you a knife there. All right. And I want to um, well, I, I like hear your experience yolk. of the toasted chia. Yeah, I never ever had toasted yeah. chia before. So I'm going to cut it nice in the middle. Because I like the yolk and I don't like my yolk broken. I think children would have fun decorating dad's eggs I'm gonna with, uh, with the piping bag, I'm the homemade piping bag. Chili. Look at that. A nice chunk of salmon. I get yeah. the whole yolk right inside. Look at that. I hope it lands in my mouth nicely. Oh, look at that. Runny yolks look are so that. good, aren't look they? Look at that. Beautiful. You are a marvel to behold. Mmm. You are the you you are like the world's eighth wonder. <laughs> when you eat, wow, really nice. Is it good? Mmm. The the yolk being so runny with the salmon and then the crunchiness of the chia seeds mm. that gives it that nice burst of flavors inside. Oh, and the hoisin sauce is mm. very nice on top. And yeah, the hoisin sauce complements so well with the flavor of the salmon. Mm. I could finish this in just two, two mouthfuls. It's a very pretty looking dish. It's, you know, it's very col colourful, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. A nice Instagrammable shot. Yeah. Dish. Dad, can I can can gram it up? And I'm gonna have it for breakfast and not feel overly filled up. And I'm, I'm saying that I really enjoy this dish. Bro. And it'll keep you tracking for a long time. A lot of omega threes, a lot of protein in there for Dad. Oh, Heart yeah. healthy. Yeah, it'll keep you full for quite some time. Fantastic. Mm. So again, if you are at home and you're looking at preparing a dish to surprise your dad this coming Father's Day, this is the best chance to create this dish and tell us how your dad responded, isn't it? Yeah, isn't I'd right? love to know. Now, before we step up for this episode of What You're Cooking, myself and Rico would just like to wish all the fathers out there a Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day! Yeah!